Nice, huh? Yeah. Garlic harvest. Um, don't feed your dogs garlic, okay? <laughs> Come here and take a look. Let's see. Andy's very curious. Hi, ah, hi Andy. So the, the weeds kind of went a little crazy here at the end of the, by the end of the season, I, um, I kind of stopped pulling the weeds because I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover this with uh, plastic to kill everything off, but very nice. Is that the right size? Well, I mean, what is the right size? It is, it is what it is, um, depending on your soil and water, but that looks pretty good. We know what our soil is. Yeah, it's good. And they vary in size depending on, you know, like look at that. Compared to that, and it's in the same bed. Oh yeah. Same bed, same water, same fertilizer, same gardener. Some more. These are pulling out fairly easily. Notice, um, I leave some of the <laughs> scapes on, and when they unwind and go straight, and they're about to flower. Yep. That's when it's time to pull this. And then I put everything in a milk crate. You can tie these up. Uh, I'm gonna just put these in a milk crate in my woodshed and there's a lot of air circulation there. And most of these I'm just pulling up by hand. You may need to get a little shovel or a three pronger. Nice size. This is the end of July, beginning of August. People always ask me when to harvest your garlic. Usually when the bottom's turning brown, when the whole thing is brown, you're kind of past. <laughs> but, but you need to cure your garlic. You need to dry it out of direct sun with some uh, airflow. So out of direct sun and with good airflow. Wow, look at that one. Wow. People leave the soil on, people clean it off. It's, it's you know, you ask 12 people a question, you get 13 answers, right? <laughs> The plastic crate, plastic crate has yeah. a bunch of holes in it. Uh, previous years, I've tied these up with string, and I thought this year, let's just put them in here and see what happens, because that's what Garden Fork's all about. Hey, let's try this and see what happens. One of my Garden Fork patrons was on the podcast the other day talking about her electric car. Yeah. And she said the seminal moment when she found Garden Fork on YouTube was when I said, done is better than perfect. Mm -hmm. And she was hooked. So <laughs> just getting stuff done for the most, unless you're doing brain surgery or heart surgery. That should um, be perfect. Perfect is, uh, gets in the way of life. Oh, this one's great. That one's kind of small, but you can see how that's, that's small. Yeah. I think that's because I left the flower on. Oh. But I leave some of the flowers on to, um, as a signal when it uncurls and goes straight up, that's a signal that it's time to harvest. See, no flower, I cut the flowers off, we cook them, the scapes, big head. You know who else has a big head? You. Hi, hi. <laughs> the black, the deer flies go right for her. You wanna see my garlic pulling technique? Yes. So I just pull it from here, you can get a little, Three prong scooper, or but Ooh. there you go. If you get a three prong scooper, you want to be sure enough. It's you want to be right? underneath and lift it. Yeah. Nice, huh? Yeah. Garlic is really easy. You plant it in the late fall. It starts to grow a little bit, then the winter hits, and you're totally okay with that. I put a little bit of wood chip mulch over it in the fall, and that helps keeps the weeds down, keeps the moisture in, and then I just pull them right through that. Are you gonna rotate the bed? Right, we're gonna move to another bed for garlic this fall. If you leave the garlic in, well, I sometimes, I just by accident, you forget to harvest them all. These will grow into multiple little garlics. So it almost looks like scallions. And you could harvest them. You can. You can cook garlic or eat garlic at almost any point in its growth. 
Hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, they're so happy. I don't know if they're happy about the garlic or just because I'm sticking my head in their face. <laughs> but if I can do this, you can do this. I got a bunch more videos about how to grow garlic. Should be floating right here. So I'll see you in the next video.